I had heard Croatia had jaw-dropping landscape, which it does. Picturesque towns, yes, too many to count, incredible local food, some of the best that I've ever tasted, and a living history that I could feel everywhere that I went. But I wasn't prepared for all of Croatia's energy, the life and spirit of this coastal country, whether walking the cobbled streets of Split or the northern countryside of Istria. Or exploring the sunny islands, Croatia just comes alive through the people, the smiles and the happy atmosphere of the country. Croatia is known for many things, but one of its best features are definitely its beaches. I'm here on Zlatni Rat, which means Golden Horn, and it's one of the most famous beaches in all of the Dalmatian Islands. The beach curves out into the Adriatic and it has smooth pebbles and some of the most crystal clear water that I've ever seen. Whether you get here by bike or by boat, by car or by foot, just make sure you come to this beach. Biking along the mountain routes is difficult only because you'll be distracted by the breathtaking rolling hills and the medieval hilltop towns. Make sure you stop to eat a lot because this is the food heart of the country. The truffles, the olive oil, the meats, the honeys, they are all some of the best that I've ever tasted. And make sure to hop on a bike in Istria because they have a beautiful network of bike trails through the rolling hills and you can eat and drink along the way. Croatia has a love affair with its water, and rightly so. Each island in the Adriatic has its own brand of seaside charm. We covered two of the islands on bike with United States Tour Operators Association member VBT Bicycling and Walking Vacations. And it was the perfect speed to take in all the beauty, breathe in the lavender scented hills, and soak up the sunshine. Plus it allowed us to easily pull over and stop in quaint towns, have lunches on the water, and meet locals who call these Dalmatian Islands home. I loved that our VBT bike tour allowed us to work out, stretch our muscles, and bike from a lookout point to a beach and to a town. In the stunning and historic towns, we ate local fish, learned about the island's famous pure white limestone, and visited homes, museums, and farmhouses. We became involved in the local culture. And that is what I love about being on USTOA member tours. The town of Avar is one of the most picturesque, with its hilltop fort and protected marina lined with shops and restaurants and cafes. There we had a cooking lesson with a local innkeeper who grew his own vegetables on a rooftop. Wine, of course, is a growing industry in Croatia, and the local wines produced by multi-generational family estates show the love and reverence for the land in every sip. By bike or by boat, we were able to see so much of the country, meet so many proud local Croatians, and enjoy all the fruits of the fertile landscape. Croatia is just bursting with life. Split has the sprawling food, fish, and craft markets nestled in the narrow streets of the old historic port city. From Diocletian's palace to the views from Marion Hill, this city has a lot to teach you around every corner. The sounds, the sights, the tastes, and the smells, Croatia is a delight to all the senses. And when you see it for yourself, you can't help but be affected by the love, positivity, and the energy that the Croatian people share. I hope to carry with me some of Croatia's appreciation for the simply good life.